What is up guys? Peach here back again with another Destiny video. It is Wednesday, which means that it's Arms Day. And there's new weapons for us, so let's go ahead and see what Banshee's got for us today. Starting off with the Zaranea D Auto Rifle. So, on this one we've got Relentless Tracker kills with this weapon grant enhanced motion tracker resolution for a short time. Focus fire when zoomed, this weapon fires slower, but causes additional damage. High caliber rounds, hand loaded, and finally small bore for a little bit of stability and range. Not that great. Let's see what the other two are. So on this one we've got hot swap, we've got spray and play, high caliber rounds, speed reload, and rifled barrel. So again, no stability perks really. And finally, let's take a look at our third one. We've got partial refund, feeding frenzy, single point sling, speed reload, and rifled barrel. So the only one with a stability perk is this first one, but I don't really prefer focus fire on auto rifles. To be completely honest, there's not really a great roll at all this week for this auto rifle. So if you want to hold on to it, you can. Otherwise, I would go with this one because it does have stability. It's really all up to you. So we've got the Surus JLB 47 next. Usually I tell you to wait for grenades and horseshoes. And this week, there is no grenades and horseshoes roll. We've got final round. Well, not final round. Whatever it is that... Uh, who's next? That's what it is. But it has the same icon as final round. We've got tripod. And then we have the cluster bombs. So, if you want my honest opinion, uh, none of these are too great. I would hold on to it for another week. See if you get a grenades and horseshoes roll. Uh, tripod's not going to be bad. Cluster bombs aren't terrible either. Uh, who's next isn't really that great of a perk. So I would go between the two of these. I mean, you can kind of pick and choose which one you want. And then finally, we have the Suros DIS-43 Scout Rifle this week. So we've got Fitted Stock, Casket Mag, which increases our magazine size but reduces our stability, Partial Refund, Single Point Sling, and Small Bore. Gain a little bit of stability and range. It's decent, not great. On the second one, we've got Perfect Balance, Unflinching, Appended Magazine, Speed Reload, and Small Bore. So we've got Perfect Balance, Unflinching, and Small Bore. That's not a bad combination at all. But let's see what the third one is first. And we've got High Caliber Rounds, Feather Mag, Outlaw, Speed Reload, and Reinforced Barrel. It's too bad this one doesn't have a stability perk, because I would have loved it with Outlaw, but the one here with unflinching, with perfect balance, and small bore isn't too bad. So this is definitely the one I would recommend with a lot of stability. So definitely I would pick this one up out of the three. So I'm going to switch over to my Warlock and we'll see what the last two guns this week are. All right, so we are back on my Warlock. So let's check out the last two weapons that Banshee has for us, starting off with the Aofi Rua D sniper rifle, and I just picked it up. That's an embarrassing one. However, that's the one I was going to suggest anyway. Let's take a look at the roll. We've got Counterbalance, Gorilla Fighter, which is kind of a garbage perk, but uh, there weren't really any others with good perks. We've also got Perfect Balance, Snapshot, and Braced Frame. This is the one I was going to suggest. This is the first one. Counterbalance and Perfect Balance, or you can go with Snapshot or Brace Frame to really increase the stability with this higher rate of fire that's kind of nice. Um, it's also got a low zoom scope, which none of the others had. So uh, embarrassing that I accidentally picked it up, but we got it. So let's take a look at the last weapon this week, which is the Yuzumi RR4 sniper rifle. So on this one, we've got Firefly, Snapshot, or Hand Laid Stock, Life Support, or Last Resort. It does have the Falcon Sight, which is the low zoom scope for Amalan sniper rifles. So that one was a decent roll, but let's take a look at the others. On this one, we've got Firefly, Snapshot, or Casket Mag, and Underdog, or Unflinching. No low zoom sight, unfortunately. But let's take a look at the third one here. So we've got Triple Tap, Quick Draw, Oiled Frame, life support, last resort, and it does have the low zoom. Personally, this is the one I would choose, mainly because if I were to use the sniper rifle, it would probably be in PvE, not PvP. So triple tap's really nice. Quick draw's always nice because that increases your zooming and weapon swapping. And life support's also kind of nice. 
if you're into pickle and PvE, you can get a kill, and it can start regenerating your health. So that's the one I would go with if you're looking for PvE. If you're looking for PvP, I would have said this one other than it doesn't have a low zoom scope. So, I I don't know. The, the sec This first one's still pretty decent with Firefly Snapshot and Last Resort. And it does have the ultra light, ultra light, low zoom. But this is the one I would go with. So, taking a look at our field test weapons this week, we have a Suros auto rifle to make precision kills with, an Amalon fusion rifle to use against Vex Minotaurs, a Hacky pulse rifle to make precision shots, a Suros pulse rifle to use against Vex, and finally, a Suros rocket launcher to use against your gold enemies. So all of them can be done in PvE this week, which is really nice. Remember that these can give you stuff up to 330 if you rank up with the gunsmith. So I'd give it a shot. And then looking at our foundry orders for next week, starting off with the Cirrus ARI-41. This is an auto rifle, 88 rate of fire, 8 or 9 impact. Pretty decent auto rifle. I definitely pick it up. It's fun to mess around with. Then we've got the Hacky Judith D hand cannon. I don't really know much about this hand cannon. Uh, I've never actually used it. It's got a really low rate of fire, really high impact. It's only got a magazine of 6 or 7, which means that I wouldn't like to use that in the Crucible because it has such a low... Uh, magazine size, but you could pick it up and mess around with it. We'll see what happens. Then we've got the Amalon Euphrin HC4. This is a hand cannon that a lot of people s seek after. Um, it's pretty dang good, especially if you get a look in the chamber roll. So I would definitely pick this one up. If you want to, pick it up on two characters. That way you can keep one until it gets that perfect roll. Then we've got the Hacky Lion Mila D Pulse Rifle. Pretty good pulse rifle as far as hacky ones go. It's got 59 rate of fire, 30 impact, so it's kind of on the medium scale with rate of fire. So it can be good, but it's not my personal preference. And then finally, we've got the Amalan Yuzumi RR4 sniper rifle for the third week in a row. Starting to get tired of this sniper rifle, but it's still there. Super high rate of fire, super low impact as far as sniper rifles go. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you next time. And as always, peach out.